Hi, Mike from Mike's Carburetor Parts. I'm working on a Carter 4 barrel WCFB and I want to talk about the metering rods and, and how they work a little bit. And this is a metering rod assembly here and it's on this uh, uh, lever here. And let me show you how the spring goes. This, this spring needs to be on here. It kind of it keeps these metering rods from rattling all over the place. And they clip on like that, like so. And uh, let's see. Let me go ahead and take it out so you can see the whole nine yards. We do carry these springs. Okay, so to install it, got this little tab pointing this way. Put one end in there, just like a so. And you put your rod on here. And there you go, that's the way the spring is. So I'll talk a little bit about the rod. The rod is uh, basically tapered so that when it's down all the way uh, at uh, idle, your, uh, the biggest part of the rod is sticking inside the main metering jet here. Now keep in mind that the rod fits in that jet loosely. They don't fit tight. All they are for is to restrict the flow of gas, not to stop it. As a rod is pulled up, you uh, it uses the uh, smaller diameter and allows more fuel through. So that's basically what the metering rod does. Now the the way it works uh, is twofold. Let me put this back in here. Now on the bottom of this is a is a, it's falling apart on me. The uh, I think they call these vacuum meters or something. Uh, um, I don't know why I call it the power piston. It's because what it looks like it fits on like that, and you have to put that on after this is uh, put it slid in the top. But uh, uh, I'll show you that in just a minute. So let's put this back in here. Slot here. Where's the slot? Okay. So you see this uh, little lever here has to go through the slot. So <clears throat> at idle, these are uh, the meter rods are down all the way. So the biggest part, the biggest diameter, uh, is in the metering jet and restricting uh, the max amount of fuel. And when you press on the gas the lever opens up the metering rods okay and uh, pulls them up okay so it allows more fuel in also the uh, vacuum meter here helps pull them down at idle you get your most vacuum and this thing is pulled down in here here's the, the hole now there's a spring in there, which we do carry also by the way. That goes in there. This goes in here. Of course you got to mount it on here first before you actually put it in the hole. Okay, so it goes in there like that. So it pulls, it pulls it down when, when the vacuum is at the highest at idle, restricts the most amount of fuel, and as you increase uh, the throttle, the vacuum drops and the spring helps push this uh, piston up 
and uh, pulls the rods up at the same time mechanically they get pulled up okay so uh, so it's kind of a two-fold action and most of this is is about uh, at idle pulling the pulling the metering rods back it kind of holds the metering rods down and your mechanical pulls them out okay so that's how the metering rods work and uh, one other thing I might mention is that uh, so I can get one out real quick here these metering rods are no longer produced they haven't been for a long time um, but you can find used ones every once in a while when you replace them re sure to be sure to replace with the same number uh, the lengths of these vary and they can vary with different carburetor numbers so you got to be very careful you don't stick the wrong metering rod in and the number on it the Carter number is always stamped right here on the metering rod and it'd be like 75-889 or something like that alright uh, now I don't have any chart that tells me what size they are you'd have to mic them to find out um, if you want to try and vary the size of it, but uh, I would, if you're going to uh, try and uh, mess with the uh, uh, size of metering rods, I would, I would change the size of the jets because they are available. We do have those, so that's what I would mess with. I wouldn't mess with metering rods. The only reason you would change one of these is if it got bent, something like that. And like I said, they're pretty hard to find. Um, so there you go. That's all about the meeting rods. I hope this helps. Thank you.